Okay. Good morning, guys. This is Michael Dimes, the Volunteer Tennis Academy, here with Creek Star today. Uh, we were just discussing her name. I was like, wow, that's like the most amazing name I've heard in a while. So she told me the story about the place in Colorado with the creek and the, and the starlight. I thought that was, that was pretty cool. I'll have to tell some people about that. <laughs> Alright, I'm a little jealous. My name's so boring, Michael. Everyone has that name. So, it's not bad, though. Alright, so uh, what we're going to do today with Creek Star's video is we're going to see her hit four hands, backhand to the serves, and I'm just going to be right behind the camera, actually, hands also her balls to look at technique. Okay, we just want to see strong fundamentals. We don't have to have a certain style. We just want to make sure that if you have some wild style that it doesn't interfere with your fundamentals. Okay? All right, kiddo. Let's start uh, four hands down the line. Okay. All righty. Just a little bit for the angle. All right, down the line. Good. Ready? Just four hands right now. Good. Let me see you step in on one. Step in on one. There we go. These balls you should be able to step in on. Good. Those low balls in front of us. Put all your weight on your front foot. Put it on the front foot. Right. Good. Put the weight on the front foot. Free start. Nice forehand. I like the swing. Weight on the front foot. Good. Good. Now let me see the open stance. Good. For the wider, deeper balls, open stance is what we use. Good. Wider, deeper balls. Okay. That kind of ball, though, I'd like to see you step in on. So just kind of comment on the forehand. The swing looks good. I want you to be first. So when the ball comes wide and deeper and higher, you're opening up your stance to deal with those kinds of balls. If you hit those balls well, eventually a shorter ball is going to come your way. Okay? So when that happens, if the ball is higher and shorter, you can open up. But when the ball is lower and shorter, we'd like to see you step in. Okay? All right, so let's work on that a little bit more. Now, to get you more comfortable with that, again, I'd like to see you comfortable getting the weight and leaving it on your front foot. Okay? Leave the weight on your front foot. Good, not bad. Bend that front knee so that it helps a little more. Good. If you bend that front knee, the weight goes to the front foot. Good, recover. Nice wide recovery. Good. Let me see you a little wider in your recovery step. Good, so you know which step that is? Where you step in, boom. When you're coming here with that wider recovery step, just so you have a little bit better balance. Ready? Weight on the front foot, wide recovery. Good, keep the weight on that front toe even. Good, make sure it doesn't go back to your heel. Stay on your toe. Good, recover. Stepping heel to toe. Good, okay? Two more. Stepping heel to toe. Good. A little wider recovery and hold it for me. Freeze. See where you are? Yeah. Where, where, did I, where did I went? Right. I'd like to see you there. Do it again. Give me two more. I'd like to see you there. Right. Now, another reason, Pre Star, why you want to be there is when you're going to see someone hitting, you're going to see them step in. Then they're gonna push back much quicker with that recovery step than I just hit cross step. So if you're here, you're not gonna have that weight to push off to get back to the center. Okay? If you see the best movers, they're gonna do that. Give me two more. And we'll go to back end. Let me see you cross over this time. Hit. Okay, you can do it open or step in this one. Step, bring it around, cross it over. That's better. Bring it around, cross it over. Okay, not bad. Try to widen that out. Watch some videos online. YouTube is a great great way to look at I mean I know it's gonna kind of cheesy but it's a great way to look at some slow motion clips people have put up of their footwork okay back ends down the line good recover good recover turn okay not bad weight on the front foot good keep the weight on the front foot okay okay not bad so again a little bit of the balance in the and it really it's your balance in being able Big thing I'd like to look at. Ready? On the front foot. Good, recover. Let me see that recovery step. Good. So if you keep your weight on the front foot longer, longer, boom. You'll take naturally take a little more of a recovery step. Good. So show me the recovery step footwork for the backhand. Step in, bring it around, and cross it over, right? Okay. 
One, two. Around, cross it over. Give me two more. Ready? Spread your feet out a little bit now. Spread your feet out. Wider, wider. There we go. Ready? We're going to round, cross it over. Good. Good. Now back. Come on, all the, extend all the way out. Front foot and extend. Good. Front foot and extend. Good. So if I were to look at you in a video clip. A lot of it has to do with I would like to see you at some point in the video clip you're stepping in. I'd like to see you all the way out. But that's not going to happen if this is a setup. If you lose this here, you're going to lose the upper part. Okay, so I'd like to see you down, boom, all the way out. Okay, give me a couple more. Two more. Ready? Front foot down, extend. Good, recover. Front foot down and extend. Good. All right. Not bad. Let's take a look at serve, okay? Uh, I'm going to move around to the side and still do serve. You can kind of take some shadow swings. There we go. Ready? You ever watch a video of professionals? Look, YouTube, I'm telling you, YouTube, if you type in one thing, like Federer slow motion forehand, like eight different other pros are going to pop up on the side. So that's a, that's a great way to go look at home, okay? Nice motion. Like that? Very simple. Good. Hitting up, hitting up. Hitting up. Good. Two more. I can hear it. Lock in position. The next thing you want to do is step in. And then you want to contact the ball in front. Extend. Can I bet? I have a question to ask you. When you're hitting your serve, you're hitting up or hitting down? Okay, what's, what's your what's your first what's your first answer to that question? Your most gut instinct answer to that question. Should you hit up or hit down? I should hit up, but I'm hitting down. That's what you think? Okay, I, I agree with you 100 percent I think you should hit up more. I think that you should rely on your racket speed to bring the ball down. I think you should hit up though, okay? Very good. Right. You should get that three to four feet of neck clearance. Very good. You should get that neck clearance. Hit up, stay nice and tall. Okay, not bad. It's okay. Should be focusing on sending the racket, the ball up from your strings. Up from your strings. Right. The speed, so what I was telling Creekstar guys, let me show you. know, we see, we look over there and we see the box that we need to head into. Okay, the thing is though, is that if we try to really direct it there, we're only going to find the net by hitting down. So what we'd like our students to do is to hit up, and then rely on the racket speed. That one, for instance, just went long, so I'm going to speed my racket up. Still had myself hitting up, and that one went in because I sped my racket up. But racket speed is the source that you look for to get the ball back down, okay? You have to hit up. I, I always say that your first instinct should be to hit up, since your first obstacle is the net, okay? I would deal with the first obstacle first. Right, very nice. Give me two more. Yes, okay. And if you want more speed, whip the racket through faster, but don't change the way that you're hitting up. Okay, last one. Beautiful. I like that. Okay, shit that one in the net, but just you're going to make sure you hit up, okay? So guys, I need to have like X's on the, on the court for like Q marks like for the stage or something. Alright guys, I want to thank you guys for sending Creekstar down here. Uh, I know it's a sacrifice, but I know at the same time she came here to learn and she's doing a great job. Okay, good job. Alright, good job kiddo. Alright, let's get the balls up real quick. So where are you actually, where are you